Today on CVTV, we're going to go over the setup and installation of the newly released Ice Cap Reef Cam. Hey everybody, this is Jeremy welcoming you back to another episode of CVTV. So you purchased a new Reef Cam and it's either on its way or already arrived. This video will help you get your camera installed and configured so that you and your friends can enjoy your aquarium via mobile device from anywhere in the world. Before we get started, let's make sure everything is included and nothing is missing from the box. The box should include camera, camera mount with locking suction or magnet mount option, mounting arm for external mount applications, Wi-Fi hub, power supply, an additional blue silicone camera jacket, cleaning cloth, double-sided tape for easy mounting of the Wi-Fi hub, and suction cup cable clip. Also, while not included or required for installation, here are a couple of optional things that you may need. Although not brand specific, we do recommend the SanDisk 32GB C10 card. Also, an ethernet cable for direct connection to your home network and only required when wireless connectivity is poor or not available. Now that we have accounted for all the parts, let's get started with the installation. We will begin by removing the protective film from the camera lens. Position the reef cam inside or outside your aquarium in a location free of algae and within reach of the Wi-Fi hub. The reef cam lens should never be located in a position where it can come into contact with sand, gravel, or any location where it could become scratched or damaged. Install the mounting bracket to the side of the aquarium using the magnet mount for surfaces up to half inch thick or the locking suction cup mount for surfaces over half inch thick. If mounting outside the aquarium, use the external mounting arm. If you are using the locking suction cup mount, push the suction cup against the clean flat surface and turn the black knob clockwise until the reef cam is fully secured. Gently push the reef cam cable into the retaining slot and if needed use the included suction cup clip to secure it in place. Please be aware that bright lights can affect the camera's ability to adjust to all varying light levels in the aquarium. We recommend angling the camera downwards from the light source to avoid any interference. Now that we have installed the camera, let's go ahead and install the Wi-Fi hub. Position and secure the Wi-Fi hub away from water. The Wi-Fi hub is not waterproof, so be sure that all connections to and from the reef cam have proper drip loops. Plug in the reef cam into the camera connection port on the Wi-Fi hub. Plug the power supply into the power port on the Wi-Fi hub. And finally, power up the reef cam. Once the hardware has been set up, Let's download and install the ReefCam app from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. There are two ways we can connect to the ReefCam. We can add the Wi-Fi hub to our home network or you can direct connect using an Ethernet cable. You would choose the direct wire connection when no Wi-Fi signal is available or the Wi-Fi connection is not fast enough. You do not need to set up the Wi-Fi network connection if using an Ethernet cable and directly connecting to your home router. To connect the hub directly to your router, plug in the Ethernet cable from your home router into the Ethernet port on the Wi-Fi hub. Open the ReefCam app. In the camera list page, select Add Camera. The ReefCam app will now search your network to find available cameras. If the ReefCam app is successfully connected to your router, it will appear in the list of available cameras. Select the camera you wish to connect to. Assign a name to the camera and then enter the default password admin, all lowercase. Click on the check mark and the camera will be added to your app. If the camera is unable to connect, there is a possibility that the password was typed incorrectly. To enter the correct password, tap on the camera name and then enter the camera password. If your Wi-Fi connection is good and reliable, then adding the camera via your wireless network may be a more convenient option. Make sure your ReefCam app is terminated prior to setting up the wireless connection. Then, open the Wi-Fi setting option on your mobile device and search for your ReefCam Wi-Fi signal. It may take a few moments to search and find your ReefCam. If a Wi-Fi network is not found, press the reset button on your Wi-Fi hub and search again. Select the Wi-Fi signal and enter the default password 
to connect. Once connected to your ReefCam private Wi-Fi network, open the ReefCam app. Select the wireless network you will be connecting to. Enter your Wi-Fi network password. This is a password for your home network and not the ReefCam. Press the check mark to save. Troubleshooting tip. If you've entered the wrong Wi-Fi password and the camera cannot connect or shows an unknown device, you will need to delete the camera from the list, reset the Wi-Fi hub by pressing and holding the reset button for 5 seconds, and then adding the camera to the app once again. If you wish to add a second Wi-Fi camera to your app, please follow the same previous steps again. If the camera is connected successfully, you will now see your camera listed on the app's homepage. Below the camera name, you will see a connection status light. Green means the camera is successfully connected. To the right of the name, you can tap on the arrow which will take you to the camera's configuration page. Here you can change the name of the camera, adjust the streaming resolution, plus many more options. For a full explanation of available options, please refer to the ReefCam user guide, which can be downloaded from CoralView.com. Arguably, one of the best features about the camera is the fact that you can share the camera feed with your fellow reef hobbyists. Say you're heading out of town for a while and you're having a friend keep an eye on your tank. Both you and your friend can view your tank at any time. Say you get a call from a friend asking for your opinion on one of the fish who is not acting normal. Just open the app and watch your friend's tank live. We all know part of what makes the hobby fun is showing off your tank. Well, now it's easy to do. To add a friend's camera to your app, open the ReefCam app. On the camera list page, select Add Camera. The ReefCam app will search your Wi-Fi network to find available cameras. This is normal and just let it go through the process. Once the app is done searching for your local camera, Tap Add Remote Camera. Enter the name of the camera and then enter the UID number of the remote camera you are wishing to connect to. For an easier setup, you can simply scan the camera's QR code. Both the UID number and QR code can be found on the underside of the Wi-Fi hub. Finally, enter the password of the remote camera you wish to connect to. The default password is lowercase admin. Tap on the check mark to save the changes here are answers to some frequently asked questions. The video on my ReefCam app is slow and choppy. What can I do to fix that? The picture and streaming quality of the ReefCam is dependent on many different variables such as performance and speed of your internet connection. If your internet speed is too slow, it will affect the quality of the video. We recommend you change the video streaming to a lower resolution. Another cause could be the signal strength of your wireless network. If your Wi-Fi hub is too far from the wireless router or too many obstacles in between such as walls or floors, it will affect the connection of your camera. In this case, we recommend to either move the camera or Wi-Fi router to a closer proximity or use the direct wire connection instead. Also, the connection quality of your receiving device such as a smartphone or tablet can affect the video. If you are in a location with low cellular signal or connected to a public Wi-Fi that is very slow, it will affect the video quality. We recommend moving to a different location with a better cellular signal or connecting to a different public Wi-Fi with a better connection speed. The video feed on my ReefCam app is blurry or distorted. What can I do? Using the included soft cloth, regularly clean the ReefCam lens to ensure it is free of algae and detritus. Never use algae pad, scraper, or other abrasive materials that could scratch or damage the lens. Failure to do so will have a direct effect on the quality of the picture achieved. Water clarity in your aquarium is also critical for optimal picture quality. Mechanical filtration such as filter socks or activated carbon will help keep water clean and clear. Also, feeding, algae or bacterial blooms, and aquarium treatments, among others, will have a direct effect on the quality and clarity of your reef cam picture. That's our video for today. If you'd like to learn more about the Ice Cap Reef Cam, including detailed specs and beautiful high quality pictures, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any questions or issues with the product, 
don't hesitate to visit our support portal at coralview.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to stay up to date on all the latest products, reviews, and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products.